are you supporting Liz Truss or are you just supporting who isn't the person who isn't Rishi Sunak? No, I'm supporting Liz positively because as long as I've known her back to 2010, I've known her a little before, but known her better since 2010. She has been a real free market conservative. She set up uh, the free market, free enterprise group of members of parliament uh, to campaign for proper conservative economic policy. And therefore, I'm confident that she will challenge the Treasury orthodoxy to get an economic policy that's actually in favour of growth and understands um, that other things being equal is one of the great mistakes of policy making. You see, it seems unlikely, doesn't it, really, that you'd be supporting this trust show, former Lib Dem, wanted the monarchy abolished, she supported Remain in the referendum, campaigned for Remain in the referendum, she backed Theresa May to the hilt and her deal all the way through to the hilt. It seems with that sort of background, it's a it's an unlikely person for Jacob Rees-Mogg to be supporting. <laughs> Not necessarily. Um, I have heard Liz say that you'd have to be pretty odd to hold the same beliefs uh, at, at whatever her age now is as you held when you were 17. I hold exactly the same beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's the one thing I do disagree with. My, my views have hardly changed at all. And I very much doubt yours have either. But I, <laughs> a, actually, I think having somebody um, who understands that what they thought earlier in life isn't right, and particularly with the referendum, accepts enthusiastically what the British people gave her to deal with. And she's not alone in that. I've always thought the most impressive Remainers are the ones who, once the result came in, said, OK, that's it, I'm accepting it, and I want now to do it properly. And there are a number of those. There are quite a lot who say that and don't really mean it. But I found in government that Liz, other than the Prime Minister himself, was my greatest supporter for getting Brexit opportunities in the cabinet committee that she chaired, when other people who are now saying we should grasp the opportunities of Brexit uh, were opposing them. 